Bullying and violence should never be a couple. That's the message students at Lompoc High School are spreading during Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month. And today, some of the students joined what's called the Black Eye Campaign. KCOY 12's Natalie Tavidian is live in our Santa Maria newsroom with a closer look at this social experiment. Scott, five students took part in this social experiment. They went to school with a black eye, all fake. Of course, it was by makeup, but it clearly looked like abuse. And what they learned was that many students did not want to get involved. A bruised hand mark on her neck. Another with what appears to be scratch marks on her cheeks. This girl has a black eye. We are doing this for a black eye campaign, and this is to get teen dating violence awareness. But they're not real. This is just makeup, a campaign to show teenagers what can happen in a violent relationship. Um, well, I see bruises, and I feel like bad for her because I'm curious what happened to her. Curious and concerned, but many of their peers sat through class with them, walked past them in the cafeteria, and didn't even say a word. She looks abused and hurt. Yeah, I was very, very worried. Most teens didn't try to help. I don't think anybody would do anything about it. I necessarily wouldn't tell anyone. I mean, it's not my business, so. Usually people just stare. They don't really help out. Only one student that took part in the experiment says people chimed in. And everyone was like, are you okay? Like, do you need someone to talk to? And they were, they were just so onto it. Maybe they don't want to call our, our hotline. They can, like, uh, the North County Rape Crisis Center says one in five teenagers in a serious relationship reports being hit, slapped, or pushed by a partner. They're trying to make sure that the students understand that if they are in a situation that they're not alone and that there is help out there for them. And up to 80% of teens know someone who has been in a violent relationship. Our students that get the makeup done, um, they a lot of people kind of turn their backs on them. They Teenagers say this is heartbreaking. I've seen a couple of my friends, and we also went to counseling and everything. We had to report it. They hope this bold experiment can teach observers a life-saving lesson. I would hope that they actually did, though. Like, they'd actually come to their senses and realize that people do need help. And and some students tell me that they don't know how much this experiment will help, but they hope it raises some awareness. Now, the Rape Crisis Center does have a hotline number and a website. We'll have all that information on our website, KCOY.com. Reporting live in the newsroom, Natalie Tavidian, KCOY 12 Central Coast News. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to know what to say to people who are hurting, Natalie, but just asking them how they're doing can certainly be a good start. Thank you very much.